I'm CT. When I'm not busy being Arrow, the podcaster, I live in the real world. I mean, everybody has to have a job, right? Mine just happens to be CS, customer service. You know, solutions, relationships, while keeping your team pumped up and motivated to make a constant connection with each person who has chosen to stop into your location. Episode number 132, The Daily Schedule Malfunction. Stuck in vice presidential traffic. And the eclipse is coming. This is CTCS. Transition walk, day number one out of four. Wow, busy day in the podcast studio today. I mean, seriously, out of control busy. I normally don't schedule five interviews on a day where I'm going into the, into the store. And the reason being is because my day is cut short. My average time spent inside a podcast studio is sometimes, you know, it could be eight hours. And so I have to be out of the studio by 1130 on a store day. And it's impossible, it's just impossible. So, so I go by this. 1130 rule and it's well afternoon and I'm just getting out here into this forest so uh, I'm well behind this could be one of those days where I just say fuck it and I walk in late but that's not leadership that's not well what about doing the five interviews was that leadership I don't think it was fair that woman is just here comes up here she got a, a, a she won 300 bucks but it came after she found a ticket inside the machine and went out and tried to find a woman that, that she knows was one of the bought the tickets before her. And so she feels that that was good karma that she picked up $300. Isn't that amazing how you helped help, help with that ticket and then now you've got 350 bucks? I almost every ticket up. Wow, that is amazing. Now you got to go home and put it away. Now I'm going to go play the Mega Minions. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that'll come out. <laughs> what are you gonna do when you win the Mega Millions? I'll come back and let's go oh. know. <laughs> you have a great day, okay? Thank you. Same to you. Pretty serious situation has unraveled here. Um, on my first day back, everybody's schedule on the store app uh, is all screwed up. It's, it's got pretty much everybody coming to work seven days a week and the crazy hours. And and then the thing is, is that it's also, there's a thing called shifting your shift. And that is, is that, you know, if you want someone else to work for you, you put it up there and then and then people are grabbing those. So we've got too many people working here. And, uh, and the way that I understand it from one of the MODs is that somebody went in and doubled the schedule and it's like oh no who would do that yeah there's only been one phone mess up was it alan's mess up too alan's was messed up Check alan's was messed up. up the other day i don't know okay okay so oh, i don't know if that was alan's actually messed up i don't even know okay. 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 and if you are booked seven days we'll see you all seven days <laughs> yeah here. you're happy about that aren't you i'm not you just no his is fine I'm going to plug back in. Thirty to nine thirty. Oh, let me show you something. So four to nine. Oh, okay. So it's ears is off too then. What am I supposed to do? I have kids out here. What am I supposed to do about that? Okay. Yeah. That is not okay. my fault. I want to show you. Okay, it's good. You can okay. Oh no. Okay. I got working. We're good. Do you need an envelope? I just need to get. I know. I need. She uh. She asked me to get a get her the lettuce to my room and go get a salad dressing. Go get the salad I did, I did though. I, because I knew that she was upset. I don't care. <laughs> but I, that is, I was trying to be a good guy. That's <laughs> went off the handle. It's not not our fault that the machine went down. And so the, the that was only one payment for rent? I mean, Three hundred and twenty dollars. Wow. Um, okay. Jeez. If your rent is only three hundred twenty dollars, are you living in a shoebox? Right. Yeah. Because you know, most of the time when we do stuff, I mean, we're doing seventeen hundred to three thousand dollars for, right. for money. Work. So, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I could tell she was getting all steamy. So, and then I got the wrong lens. <laughs> she, 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 she made me go back and change it. <laughs> uh, uh, can I go home? Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> out. <laughs> This is how karma will come back and bite you. You guy Bill was going, yeah, man, I'm going to leave at 4 o'clock. Leave you guys there. Man, I don't have to stay late tonight. Ooh, it's going to feel good to be home early. And then he sends me messages. 
messages that he is stuck in traffic because the vice president of the United States is in town and he can't get out of the traffic. So I was like, how you doing, buddy? Why don't you, why don't you go ahead and just, uh, you know, have some fun in that car, man. Play some video games on that phone. Oh, he was not in a good mood. New guy, new guy Bill here again. Um, it's been about 40 minutes now. The vice president has driven by in a motorcade of about 50 cars, which is expected. Um, and then two ambulances and then even more cars behind it. So uh, it's a pretty interesting scene. You got There's a hotel in the corner of Tryon and Woodlawn uh, where it turns into Billy Graham Parkway, which is I'm not even a mile from the airport here at Charlotte Douglas. And um, there are people lined up outside on the corner of both roads to uh, greet the VP as she cuts through Charlotte. Um, and I'm still waiting for the cops to move. They are, there's one car in front of me and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like 10 police cars blocking this intersection. So hopefully we will uh, we'll get moving here in the next hour. And I might have failed to mention it's 5 o'clock. So once we get turned loose, I get to battle 5 o'clock traffic. So that's been your vice presidential traffic report from Charlotte, North Carolina. Transition walk, day number two out of four. Just got out of the podcast studio. Had a great conversation with retired U.S. Navy SEAL Mark Green. Oh, my God. It's such a blessing to talk to these men and women who have served this nation. They've got so much to teach, and they're so willing to do it. And, and you know, it just changes your life because, you know, when you go to CS and you've got a world right there in front of you that can change so quickly, it's people like Mark Green that really opens up your eyes and heart to be better prepared. All right, transition walk in the forest. Kind of chilly today, 53 degrees, but uh, I'm here to uh, find some solitude. Goodness, the store is a mess today. Didn't they have any stalkers last night? I mean, the whole entire back room is just full of stuff, and now we've got, like, carts all over the place. They're trying to get this stuff up on the shelves, but it's like nobody showed up last night to stock. There are certain things you can get away with at a grocery store. I mean, you, you can go sit down over at the bar for a long period of time, eat some of the food that, you, that you've got inside your basket. Nobody's going to say anything about it. But if you want to pay for your food, you can't take the food out to the car to get your credit card. Your food has to stay here. Holy crap, did this woman ever throw the biggest damn fit? Because she felt like, no, you'll get in there and you'll take food away from me. i got to go get my card, and this food is coming with me. No, it's not coming with you. It's going to stay right here at customer service. Our store has a bar in it. We have live music on Thursday nights, and uh, tonight we're going to throw a luau. Yeah, Kona Beer is here, and they're a bunch of food. Some you know, some sliders and a bunch of wings and just a lot of people here to throw a party on a Friday night inside a grocery store. Is that community or what? Got a new manager in the deli. Remember past couple of shows ago, we were talking about what was everybody boycotting? They weren't coming into work in, in the deli, in the fresh foods. So uh, the new manager is here. Where it's a Friday. Uh, we're out of subs. It's only 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We're out of subs. Not too many people are happy right now. Transition walk, day number three out of four. They always say that March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb or vice versa. As we jump into this month of April, I think that's what's going on. It is windy-ass cold on this forest floor today. Oh, but man, it'll wake your ass up. It does, and I need that because I've been in the studio all day. That's one thing that people don't understand about podcasting is that it's 24-7. Your mind is always thinking about it. And if you're not thinking about it, you're in the studio doing something about it. So, you know, maybe going into CS is that, that break. Yeah, you see how that's working. Why does this show even exist, right? Always, always doing a podcast. Just got to the store. This isn't a good sign. You know what AAA is, don't you? They come out and they, yeah. they can haul your car away, or they'll fix a tire, they'll fix your engine, they'll do whatever they can to get you back on the road again. Well, the AAA van has its hood up. That's kind of scary. I mean, that's like, whoa, when AAA goes down, what the hell else is going to happen during this day? 
very busy day. The Powerball is $1.3 billion, so uh, we're, we're just selling those things like it's free candy. And and then, of course, we've got uh, the NCAA Final Four happening, so everybody's getting in here to get their, their groceries, their, their beer, and their chips and all that kind of stuff before that game starts, so it's really crowded. I have finally met somebody who believes that the Powerball is being played wrong. If I want the number 48 to be the first number, I should be able to have that right. What do you think? I mean, this guy comes in. He says, he says, look, I, I, I want to do 48 is the first one. Three is the second one. I say, it doesn't work that way. You have to do the smaller numbers first. And he goes, why? I, I'm feeling in my heart that 48 would, should be the very first number. Well, it might be, but it's not going to play out the way you want it to. And now, the pet peeve of the week. Can you go into the back and see if you have any golden raisins? They have no idea what is in the back. There's nothing there in the back. But what you do is you still make it look like that you're going into the back. So at least, you know, you show you, you had some, some care and love. But I hate it when they go, can you go in the back? There's nothing in the back. If it's not on the floor, how are we supposed to make money? Everything is on the floor. Transition walk, day number four out of four. I had to get my God on today. I don't know what it is about the atmosphere of this present place of now. I don't know if it's the two major wars that are in the world, the uncertainty of the political world here in this country. You know, we're still in with the high prices of inflation, but people are really, really moody. And when they bring that atmosphere to me in my own space, of course I'm going to pick up on it. So many of us are magnets. So, to get my God on, that means I had to step into a world where this messiness has a plan and has a purpose. So that when I go in to see us today, the goal is not to be the moody person. I don't want somebody in that store to feel my mess. Very fun way to start off the day, fourth day here, and that is uh, I was the bartending. Yeah, sometimes I get to do that, and that, I mean, that really makes it one-on-one -on -one and personal with our guests here, because those that want to have a beer while they're shopping, hey, they're going to stop and talk with CT first. So you're going to be the one that's going to bring them all back Yeah. In. Yeah, good job, Bill. Fuck that. <laughs> so I'm going to clock in early, because if I don't, like, I'm going to be the only one that's going to run a register at 6 a.m. when we open, so I got to get here at, like, 5.30 to start bring the fucking tonics and Going up the hill, too. Man, fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to bring him in that way and just bring him in the full of rotten. Because <laughs> I won't have a bagger till nine. Oh, my God. And then it'll be pretty busy. Mondays are pretty busy in the morning. But it's, well, it is what it is. <laughs> so I've done something kind of interesting today. As, a, as kind of a shock to our guests, I went on to Amazon and bought the Eclipse sunglasses. And so when people bring it up and they say, do you even know where we can get some sunglasses? And, and I, I pull out the sunglasses and just give it to them for free. I, I just love that kind of a shock. I don't know where you are, but uh, there's a big run on moon pies here. Moon pies are a very special dessert uh, here in the South. I guess even in Montana they were big, too, because moon pie and Dr. Pepper is what I always heard about growing up. But there's a big run on it today. Do you know the reason why? The eclipse tomorrow. Everybody wants to be munching down on their moon pies when that eclipse takes place across this nation. So here's the situation. What it is is that it's, it's two for $7. Yeah. So you have to buy two to get it for $7. But it's also the smaller box. Well, what I was saying was 279 was a small box. Yes, yeah. a smaller box. Not okay, a okay. And also the two, for, I didn't realize that. I yeah. thought it was like you buy one, get one. They don't, they don't do that as much as they used to. No, they, they, they want to. Yeah. Was it, it trouble to, I do? You're not going to, no, no, man. This is what we do it for. That's what customer service is all about, man. No. <laughs> We're here to serve you. We're here begging, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to go over and get a smaller box? Yeah. Oh, we don't have any? I didn't see any, of this. Oh, okay, you know, okay. I mean, it's not over there, but I looked okay. at it and I thought, because when I got it off the project, off the yeah. computer, yeah, yeah. I wrote on my shopping list, 279. Yep, yeah. And a little question mark about Okay, then we need to get you a rain check then. How about that? And then this way you can still get it at 279 when when we get more. Oh, yeah, that's How about that, huh? Is that customer service or what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> So we get the glasses in for the solar eclipse, mm -hmm. and and we're two for uh, five bucks. Do you see that rush we got? We make the announcement. I you think make the announcement, and everybody wants it. yours. Yeah, we're selling them, buddy. I'll try that. Two for five dollars. Yeah, perfect, man. It's a great thing. How are you doing? You gonna sneak outside tomorrow and watch that eclipse? Uh, I, I said I wasn't going to, but now that we have glasses, I probably will, even though it's not going to be as cool as the one from like five years ago. Yeah, but you're, being here at the store where you have absolutely no trees, you, you're probably going to have one of the best views of it taking place. Yeah, but I mean, 
the one I saw a couple years ago was unobstructed. It was pretty good, but this one's not going to be nowhere near like that. Well, it's 80%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, I'm, you know where I'll be? Out in the forest writing while it's taking place. You're not going to look up at it? Oh, I'll look up at it, but I'm, I'm going to be writing because what happens is the last time I was there, it ke- became super quiet in the forest. Yeah. And I, and I want to go through that experience again. It's eerie. And, and look at the shadows. Yeah. The shadows will blow your fucking yeah. eyes. Once word got out that our store had the Eclipse glasses, the protective glasses, I mean, school teachers are rushing in here, selling 21, 30 at a time. So we used to have eight gigantic stacks of these glasses, and all within a, probably about maybe two and a half hours, we're down to only like a stack and a half left. So, hey, I hope the kids enjoy it. Uh, you, well, this is definitely once in a lifetime. All right, there you have it. Another exciting edition of CTCS. Hey, do me a favor. Create your own podcast. Let the world see what really takes place inside your business. It'll make the consumer smarter. They'll understand that in the back of the building, there's nothing back there. Because if you're going to make money, you got to get it on the floor, right? I'll see you next week.